we're joined fresh from the training ground by Absolute's new signing, goalkeeper Chris Haig. Welcome to the club first, first of all, Chris. Thank you very much. And uh, I mean, I guess the best place to start, because that's where everyone will know you, is Wembley. Um, you had a great season and, and a great game there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was brilliant. He uh, definitely won off the bucket list that managed to tick off. And um, yeah, no, there's nothing really else to say. It was just a great end to a bit of a rubbish season, and obviously with, with COVID and stuff, so it was brilliant to finish yeah. on that high. Had a memorable game as well, because you got man of the match as well, and, and that heightened your profile, I guess. Yeah, all, all went well for me that on the day. Yeah, it was uh, it was really good. It felt like a lot of a lot of hard work kind of paid off on the day, which was great. Yeah, and I guess unlike a lot of players last season where the season was stop-start and pro- perhaps not so memorable, I guess last season for you would have been extra memorable because of that game. Yeah, for sure. I think, like you said, the season as a whole for the division and, and football in general wasn't very good. So for me, it was great to have that kind of memorable moment and memorable game to finish on it. So I could still finish the season on, you know, obviously such a high. Yeah, and tell us a bit about your sort of past career as a goalkeeper. You were at Watford and Gillingham as a, as a youngster. Yeah, yeah, and then and then went on just started playing on league. Went and played step four. Um, I did well, got my games in because I just wanted to play games. Um, got picked up obviously by Concord, and then had had a really good year there. And then obviously had Wembley last year uh, or last season, and then obviously yeah, then came in. Yeah, and I guess your profile, your stock rose because of the FA Trophy and and absolute move came about. How did that kind of happen during the summer? Yeah, I mean, Johnny, who looks after me, just, you know, got in touch and just said, you know, absolutely you're interested. You know, at that point, it was just like, okay, like, interested straight away. Obviously, the club's a massive club. Um, and to be able to be part of such a big club, obviously, you know, training full-time, being part of a big club and being able to play, it's just huge for me. Yeah, and part of your development, I guess, is you're at that age now where, where development, club development, player development is very important. Yeah, for sure. I'm still young as a keeper, um, but I'm getting to a stage now where I'm starting to hopefully establish myself as a as a very you know as a very good goalkeeper. And yeah, now it's about playing at a high level and for a big club and making sure that I'm uh, yeah showing what I can do. Yeah, and the manager and the CEO they would have told you about it, the sort of the long term plans and the yeah. player welfare and that kind of thing off the pitch. Especially given the year we've just had, that must be really important for you as a player. Yeah, for sure. The chats that I've had with uh, the gaffer and also Damien were brilliant. They really made me feel at home and. Something that you don't get a lot of the time is, like you said, mentioned player welfare, how much they care about you as a person and how they want you to make sure you're in your best possible space. Really, really impressed me. It's something you don't get a lot of these days. So, it was, yeah, it was fantastic to hear. The chats went so well. It was so smooth. Yeah, and you've come from a club like Concord, which is built very much on team spirit and yeah. that club mentality. Yeah. And that's something that Dennis has brought to the, the team here at Ebbsfleet this season and last season. Is that something that also that, that was attractive to you in the move? Yeah, for sure. Like, I, I knew for a fact after Concord how much how important it is to have that team spirit and there yeah, that was something that was pretty much all built on um, and I know how kind of strong and valuable that is within a team from speaking to Dennis some of the chats that we had he made that really clear that that's something that they were really interested in and from talking to him I think the first chat we had down here seemed like they were kind of just sussing me out as a person um, and I really like that because you know how your, your personal qualities are just as important as what you do on the pitch yeah and you've played obviously with uh, Concord in the National League South for the last two um, seasons, you're coming back into another National League South season. Have you got any personal goals um, as well as club goals here? Yeah, so for me, my personal goals are just to try and just to be the best keeper in the league. I feel like I'm good enough to do it. I just want to make sure I can perform and show that week in, week out. Um, obviously, the club's a big club and they, want to, they obviously want to move up move up the division and, and things like that. So that's got to be our team goals. And I think we just got to go into every game wanting to win. That's why I'm here. I just want to win games of football. And, try and get this club back to where it belongs. Yeah, and the um, Fleet fans, they like a goalkeeper with a big personality. I think that's what you're coming in with, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. I connect really well with, a lot of the time with, with fans of different clubs. I think fans really care about that, people that you know, show an interest in them and they want to feel connected to the team, so that's really important. And as a goalkeeper, you get you get the front end of that when you're with the away fans, which is, that's the fun bit, and you get the, the good side of it when you're with your home fans as well. Yeah, I mean, especially as a goalkeeper, the, the, the return of fans is going to be yeah. you know, something for your game. It must be quite weird to have walked out every game complete silence behind the goal for sure I can't wait to get abuse behind the goal That's uh, <laughs> I, I love it I can't wait for that bit the, the first game of the season when we get that is going to be a really good moment yeah and just finally I think you've got a good record with penalty saves as well haven't you which is something that again fans are going to like in a goalkeeper yeah let's hope I can keep that up so far it's, it's done me alright so let's hope we keep that up the, um, yeah let's hope so yeah. brilliant welcome to the club Chris and we'll be seeing you out there in the pre-season friendlies uh, thank you very much look forward to it thanks a lot cheers cheers